Sutra 11th, women who want to can be reborn as men. 12th, women who want to can be reborn as daughters of national leaders and officials. 13th, they will have upright appearances. 14th, they will often be born in the heavens. 15th, they may be emperors or national leaders. 16th, they will have the wisdom to know past lives. 17th, they will obtain whatever they seek. 18th, their families will be happy. 19th, they will never undergo any disasters. 28th, they will leave the bad karmic paths forever. 21st, they will always reach their destination. 22nd, their dreams will be peaceful and happy. 23rd, their deceased relatives will leave suffering behind. 24th, they will enjoy blessings earned in previous lives. 25th, they will be praised by sages. 26th, they will be intelligent and have keen faculties. 27th, they will be magnanimous and empathetic. 28th, they will ultimately realize Buddhahood. Commentary 11th Women who want to can be reborn as men. The 11th advantage is that if you are tired of being a woman by paying respects and making offerings, praising and reciting the fundamental vows of Earth Star Bodhisattva Sutra, or reciting and praising Earth Star Bodhisattva's name, then you as a woman will turn into a man. Perhaps it is not because you are tired of being a woman that you wish to become a man. You feel that it is inconvenient become being a woman and therefore wish to become a man. You feel that kind of vow because you make that kind of vow because everything will be convenient then. Earth Star Bodhisattva will make your wishes come true. Twelfth, women who want to can be reborn as daughters of national leaders and officials. Any wish to go from a woman to a man will be met. So will the wish to go from a man to a woman. Man may recite the Earth Star Bodhisattva's name, bow to an image of Earth Star Bodhisattva, or recite the fundamental vows of Earth Star Bodhisattva Sutra to become a woman who teaches living beings. Women usually have less of a temper, are more detail-oriented, and speak as if they have affinities with others. This is why some bodhisattvas make the vow to go from being men to women. They go from being men to women to propagate the Buddha Dharma and teach living beings. Consequently, these women are not average women but daughters to kings and ministers. They enjoy a lot of power to influence people so that people may develop their faith and intention to cultivate. These women have been reborn again because of their vows. Thirteenth, they will have upright appearances. The thirteenth advantage, advantage is not only about being women, but women who are intelligent and wise, nice looking without any flaws. The nose, eyes, ears and mouth all look the way they should. Someone asks, are there ears that do not look like ears? Are there eyes that do not look like eyes. Some women have triangle eyes or strange looking eyes that look about as if they are ready to steal some cows. They do not look so elegant. They are rather crude, improper, and less than perfect. The nose is on top of the head with nostrils pointed upward. What do you think that is like? Some women have one eye up close to the sky and one eye close to the floor, ears on the back of her head and a mouth on the chin. They do not look quite like people, not quite like ghosts and not quite like monkeys. If they were a product of evolution, how is it that they do not look like anybody else but they are the only ones who look that way? This is an improper and imperfect look. If you wish to become women, your looks ought to be perfect and proper. If you, your features were proper looking, people will feel a sense of affinity with you. If your features were improper, 
People take a look and run away as if they saw a yaksha. Fourteenth, they will often be born in the heavens. The fourteenth advantage surpasses those described before. They are born in the heavens often to enjoy heavenly blessings and supremely wonderful bliss. Fifteenth, they may be emperors or national leaders. The fifteenth is that they may become candidates for emperors by reciting the Earth Star Sutra, bow to Earth Star Bodhisattva, and recite Earth Star Bodhisattva's name. This is an incredible advantage. Drama Master, I do not want to go to the heavens and be an emperor or be a good-looking individual. This Saha world is so miserable. I have had enough already. You really had enough? There are other opportunities for realizing Buddhahood. The last enumerated advantage is to realize Buddhahood. Sixteenth, they will have the wisdom to know past lives. They know what they did in their past lives. Perhaps they were political officials, scholars, or business people. They know what their last names, first names were, their place of birth and age of death. Now they are in a new house, different from their earlier ones. Those with the power to know past lives know what occurred in their past lives. Seventeenth, they will obtain whatever they seek. The seventeenth advantage is that you get what you want. You want riches and you get them. You want people, you get people. You want food, you get food. You want to be rich, you will own an uncountable amount of gold, silver, and jewels. Just avoid following in the footsteps of Reza Shan Pahlavi, the Iranian Tsar, who earned so much money, none of which was enjoyed. During his lifetime, he died empty-handed. How meaningless and worthless! Do not be misers. Eighteenth, their families will be happy. The eighteenth advantage is that their family, relatives, and friends around them are all happy, safe, and at peace. People do not find or argue. This creates happy families. Sometimes a lot of afflictions develop in the family between husband and wife, father and son, brothers and sisters, or in-laws. The most intimate relationship in our lives has to be that between parent and child. When their opinions diverge, the child may think, Look, the old man's brain is arcane. His knowledge is arcane. Everything he does is arcane. He does not he has not caught up with modern times and does not know how to deal with the contemporary world. He feels that old people do present a, a problem, do present a problem. Elders are so concerned about their children that they forgive their children no matter what wrong they do. The children, unfortunately, ungrateful and consider the elders in the wrong. Why do you not educate your children well? It is because parents do not know how to teach their children. Consequently, children do not know how to take care of their parents. Many problems remain unresolved between parents and their children. As for couples, before marriage, both wear a facade and do not argue or fight. After marriage, both display their temper. The man will let the woman know that he is upset, and the woman will let the man know that she is upset. They give each other stress. With this 18th advantage, your families and friends will always be happy if you get to see an image of Earth Star Bodhisattva or hear the name of Earth Star Bodhisattva. 19th, they will never undergo any disasters. All disasters and accidents Adverse and inauspicious events are unexpected disasters. Suicide by hanging, drowning at the sea, airplane crashes, car accidents, suicide by taking poisons are all unexpected deaths. When all accidents disappear, all disasters disappear, there will be no more hurt or harm. 28. They will leave the bad karmic paths forever. No more offense karma. The three evil destinies are the realms of hell beings, hungry ghosts, and animals. 
21st, they will always reach their destination. The 21st advantage is one where they go everywhere unobstructed and very smoothly. Things are auspicious and beneficial for them. 22nd, their dreams will be peaceful and happy. The 22nd advantage, unlike average people's dreams, some always have vicious nightmares. They experience nightmares where they are either chased by ghosts, beaten by dogs, or eaten by tigers. Sometimes they are pressed upon by ghosts and cannot move. They panic. We cite the fundamental vows of Earth Star Bodhisattva Sutra and Earth Star Bodhisattva's name. Your dreams, your dreams will become happy and lucky. 23rd, their deceased relatives will leave suffering behind. The 23rd advantage is that your parents, ancestors, and relatives since beginning this time will live suffering and attain bliss, become liberated from birth and death. Many deceased individuals fall into their health because of their karma. However, because you see an image of Earth Star Bodhisattva or hear the name of Earth Star Bodhisattva, there are 28 advantages that make the deceased leave suffering behind and acquire bliss. The deceased of the present are our deceased parents and relatives in this life. They will leave suffering and attain bliss. The deceased of the past are all of our deceased parents and relatives throughout all of our lives. We will leave suffering and attain bliss. 24. They will enjoy blessings earned in previous lives. You write on the good rules and blessings from your past lives. Having done a lot of merit and planted deep rules of goodness, they enjoy such blessings of life's past. Why are we rich in this life? In past lives, we made offerings to the Sangha and offered charity to the poor. In the past, we made offerings to the Triple Jewel, guarded Buddhism, and helped the poor. This is why we are rich in this lifetime. Why are we poor in this life? perhaps so impoverished that we have no clothing or food. In past lives, we refuse to help the poor. In lives past, we refuse to aid the poor. We were very stingy and did not want to give up anything if we were not so miserly before. But cultivated blessings and wisdom is that then the blessings done in past lives may be enjoyed in this lifetime. 25th. They will be praised by sages. The 25th is that all Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, sages and hearts praise you and tell you that you are a good man or a good woman. 26. They will be intelligent and have a keen faculties. The 26th advantage is about being very smart and wise, having a powerful memory. The eyes are bright and they see far. The ears hear well. All six sense faculties are keen. 27th, they will be magnanimous and empathetic. The 27th is being full of sympathy and compassion toward everyone, providing every individual with joy and relieving one of one's pain. Regardless of how unkind people are, they treat others kindly and refuse to seek revenge. 28th, they will ultimately realize Buddhahood. What is the 28th advantage? This is the most critical advantage. To irreversibly, irreversibly enter the Bodhi path so that they will definitely become Buddhas in the future. Sutra. Moreover, empty space treasury Bodhisattva, if God's Dragons or spirits of the present or future hear a star's name, bow to a star's image, or hear of a star's past vows and the events of his practices, and then praise, behold, and bow to him. They will benefit in seven ways. Commentary Moreover, let me tell you again empty space, treasury, bodhisattva. If God's dragons or spirits of the present or future hear Earth Star's name, bow to Earth Star's image, or hear the, of Earth Star's past vows and the events of his practices, such as all the stories of cause and effect in the fundamental vows of Earth Star Bodhisattva Sutra 
and then praise, behold, and bow to him, they will benefit in seven special ways. What are the advantages of bowing to any of the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas? There is incomparable benefit to bowing to the Buddhas. Bow before the Buddhas to eliminate offenses as numerous as grains of sand in the Ganges River. Sutra First, they will quickly ascend to levels the sagehood. Second, their evil karma will dissolve. Third, all Buddhas will protect and be near them. Fourth, they will not reach it from body. Fifth, their inherent powers will increase. Sixth, they will know past lives. Seventh, they will ultimately realize Buddhahood. Commentary What are these seven advantages? First, they will quickly ascend to levels of sagehood. What does ascent mean? For instance, going from the first ground to the third ground, skipping the second ground, or going from the third ground to the fifth ground, then from the fifth ground to the eighth ground, they ascend quickly by passing over certain stages. Second, their evil karma will dissolve. Why do people not become Buddhas? They have impure karma. Evil karma is tainted. The karma you create is impure. Evil karma is dark karma. You do not want people to know about anything you do. Besides, earth stop bodhisattva and your evil karma is elimi eliminated. Third, all Buddhas will protect and be near them. All Buddhas throughout the ten directions come before you to protect you. Fourth, they will not retreat from body. They, you will never withdraw from your resolve for body for enlightenment. You grow by the day and make progress each day, only advancing and never retreating. Once the body resolve burdens, I want to receive the five precepts today and leave home tomorrow. The day after, I must become an imminent monk. The day after that, I must become a patriarch. The day after that, I will practice the ways of a bodhisattva. A while later, I will become a Buddha. You must not resign using your resolve for body. Avoid making the resolve for receiving the five precepts, then reject the idea, thinking it would be embarrassing to receive the precepts, then violate them. I couldn't stand it if most people know I violated the precepts. All they hear that monastic life is bitter, so they reconsider and decide not to become a monastic. Very few can remain steadfast toward the goal, uh, the goal of body. Fifth, their inherent powers will increase. Inherent power refers to the strength of our inherent Buddha nature. Living beings have the opportunity and power to become Buddhas. What people do is to cover over their inherent Buddha nature and allow afflictions and ignorance to develop. Now that you shattered ignorance and broke with afflictions, then your inherent power manifests and increases. Sixth, they will know past lives. They know what they did in their last life and what they did in the life before that. They know about their lives as far back as 80,000 great ends. Those who certify to a hardship know their past lives, but they do not know anything beyond 80,000 great ends. Once someone has the ability to know past lives, they know, for example, I was an aunt in one life that was a tiny body. Now I am huge as a human being. Perhaps we go from ants to bees, bees to butterflies, butterflies to birds, birds to eagles. We were vegetarian eagles, so we built blessings and planted causes for Buddhahood. Hence, we became humans. We will become Buddhas in the future. With the ability to know past lives, you know when you were an ant, what kind of insect or animal you were. This body of ours will change. Perhaps what follows are numerous transformations. Seventh, they will ultimately realize Buddhahood. They will become Buddhas even truly. This is the same as the 28th in the earlier list. Sutra at that time, all the indescribable, ineffable numbers of Buddhas 
those calm ones who had come from the ten directions and great bodhisattvas, gods, dragons, and the rest of the eightfold division. Having heard Shakyamuni Buddha's praise of extra bodhisattvas' great awesome spiritual powers, lauded this unprecedented event. Commentary at that time, all the indescribably ineffable numbers of Buddhas, such common ones who had come from the ten directions, and the unimaginable and unspeakable number of great bodhisattvas, sound heroes, those enlightened conditions, Pratika Buddhas, gods, people, ghost spirits, dragons, and the rest of the Eightfold Division. Having heard Shakyamuni Buddha's praise of Earth Star Bodhisattva's great awesome spiritual powers and incredible blessings incomparable by any other Bodhisattvas, Lord this unprecedented event. Everyone is told at how there has never been such a supreme and rare Bodhisattvas. Sutra, following that, incense, flowers, heavenly garments, and pearl necklaces rain down in the Chajashimsa heaven as offerings to Shakyamuni Buddha and Earth Star Bodhisattva. And everyone in the assembly joined together in gazing at and making obeisance to the Buddha and Bodhisattva. Then they put their palms together and withdrew. Commentary following that, an array of incense scented flowers such as Mandaravas, little white flowers, and Mahamandaravas, large white flowers, heavenly garments lighter than Nalan, and pearl necklaces rain down in the Chajashim Ch- Shah heaven, the heaven of 33, as offerings to Shakyamuni Buddha and Earth Bodhisattva. The most valuable and rare gems were offered to Shakyamuni Buddha, who was the greatest, and then to Earth Star Bodhisattva. After the offerings, everyone in the assembly who had gathered, such as bodhisattvas, ahas, gods, ghosts, and spirits, joined together in gazing at and making obeisance to the Buddha and Bodhisattva. Then they put their palms together and respectfully withdrew to the side.